I feel like just bashing it. <laughs> I don't give up though, I'm not a quitter. Are we still rolling? Hey, aren't you the bloke who's been purchasing all kinds of whims and wackies on the internet? Does it ever seem like you're running out of stupid ideas for what to buy? Would you ever like to step into the realm of products that would make your life have some sort of betterment? Well, we found the most bizarre yet most helpful products just for you. Say bye-bye to life's problems and hello to looking happy. Don't delay. Call 1-800-YOU-BOUGHT-WHAT today. Hey, what's up you guys? So as you all know, the internet is home to a whole bunch of weird and wacky innovations, but it's also home to some things that can actually help improve your life. I'm trying to speak here. <laughs> oh. Okay. Now for me, I usually like to make problems, but today I'm actually gonna be solving some. So welcome to a problem-filled day in my life. Oh no, have you forgotten to take out the trash? Don't like touching your own waste? Or do you just buy way too many things online and just can't be bothered to throw them away? Introducing the Tao New, the automatic trash can. All right, so this next product I have is something that is uh, yeah, very um, extravagant. It's actually a bin. So I'm just gonna lift it up for you guys real quick. And what it is, is actually just a nice life-size bin, mainly to put inside. A lot of people say my videos are so maybe I should put myself inside, but not today. <clears throat> anyway, how you use it is do that. You've got to stay open for me, all right? Just stay we're going to find a piece of rubbish just lying around, such as this emu we have here. I don't like emus very much. So what we're going to do is put the emu inside of the bin and just drop it in there. It actually scrunches the product up inside of the bin. So you press this. Okay, that didn't work. Okay. So I feel like just bashing it, but I won't for the video. Hold it like this. Okay, and let's see if that worked. Or can I just manually open? Oh, wait, no. Gotta stay open for me, nice and wide. <laughs> Got it for my girlfriend who's a bit of a germaphobe. Made me her fiance. Didn't even have to buy a ring. Highly recommend. Well, that's really nice. Got one of these bins uh, for the office and for the mates and they were impressed by it. I'm trying to speak here. Um, in all honesty, guys, I actually would buy this because it's kind of fancy how it just like, does it for you. You know, you don't have to go through all the effort to burn unneeded calories to tie a rubbish bag. So, yeah, I would definitely uh, buy this if I was you guys. Does riding a bike hurt too much? <laughs> want to go back to being a kid again? Or do you just want a sick new ride? We've got the product for you, the half bike. So as you guys might not know already, I'm actually going through something called a quarter life crisis. And I'm actually looking for things that will allow me to feel like a kid again. Oh, thank you. Uh. <clears throat> guys, forget everything you know about bikes. This is the half bike and it reinvents everything you know about bikes. There's no seat and it rides a bit more like a skateboard than a bike. Half bike is pure fun. Sometimes it takes another curve as I want, but my face and knees are still okay. I feel like the only way I'm gonna be able to uh, captivate the experience of this bike is to take it out onto the street. So let's go do that. <laughs> oh, that's a lot harder than I imagined. <laughs> gonna swap bikes? <laughs> I don't give up though, I'm not a quitter. I don't think I'll be um, riding that ever again. I don't give up though, I'm not a quitter. So now that I've given this thing a go, I guess it's only fair for you guys to know what I think about it. To be honest, it's not the greatest thing. Um, I'd prefer to just ride a normal bike. I actually haven't ridden a bike in about 10 years, so I'm pretty rusty. But I do have a joke about a bike and it goes like this. Nice bike, wish I was the seat. <laughs> Oh no, it's happened again. You're late, aren't you? Got your special one waiting saying, Tick tock, where are you at? Stop oversleeping and chasing the clock with the crazy helicopter flying alarm clock. Ah, talk about a product that I actually need in my life. That was like 10 seconds too early. <laughs>
So in this box right here is the famous helicopter alarm. So let's take it out and see what it's all about. Looks like a steering wheel of some sort, like a fan. I don't really know what this is about. I don't know what to say, actually. Okay. <laughs> Are we still rolling? It's got the time, which is really good. Um, so, okay. Um, so I'm assuming when you guys wake up in the morning, uh, the alarm goes off and then you have to chase this thing and just pick it up so it gets you out of bed, which actually is very uh, interesting. This alarm is loud. We thought the house alarm had gone off, scared the crap out of everyone, and we were awake after that. So it's effective at waking you. You might wake up with a heart attack, but hey, that's the price you've got to pay. If you're a heavy sleeper and average alarms do not work, I'm pretty sure I will not be purchasing one of these. Even though I badly need a good alarm clock in my life, I'm not really looking for something that wants to attack me every time I wake up. But yeah, anyway guys, hope you enjoyed. So today we try to solve some problems in my life by unboxing the automatic trash can, the half bike, and the helicopter alarm clock. Man, some of these things, I don't know why anyone would buy them. And I'm sure you guys at home watching this are into some seriously weird stuff yourself. So if you guys are like me, uh, not that I just admitted that on camera, but if you guys are like me, make sure you mention in the comments below what sort of stuff you buy online to make your life better. And I'll see you guys next time.